What's up YouTube? Oh man, I have a fucking crazy death pile. I said I wasn't gonna go thrifting, but I have a bag of shit to go deliver and there's thrift shops nearby, so fuck it. I'm gonna take you for a ride along. Come ride with me, let's go fucking thrifting and this hay fever weather is fucking shit. I don't know about you, but I've been pulling out all this fucking dirty crust shit out of my eyes and sneezing like a bitch. But anyway, let's go ride along. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. I'm actually excited a little bit, a little bit excited. I was coming here to go to this fucking Vinnie's, which I've been to a fair few times, and I got a few things from, but, uh, good Sammy's just opened up. That's fucking sweet, so that's a bonus. A bonus. Didn't expect a bonus, but we've got a bonus. Alright, so we're going into the Vinnie's first. The Vinnie's first. Past this old lady, she's swiping like crazy on Tinder. Uh, I think she got a few likes. She was, uh, hiding behind the clothes there. Anyway, we, uh, Bypass the clothes and go straight to the DVDs to see if there was any videos there. No videos. A uh, few video games. The DVDs they wanted three bucks each for, so they can go suck a dick on that because I am not paying three bucks a DVD. Um, but yeah, there was a couple of PlayStation Three games here. No prices on them. Um, I knew without even looking up they weren't worth anything. I don't have a PlayStation Three, but fuck, I wanted to play this. Superman and Batman and Joker, fuck yeah, that'll be some good fun. Alright, so yeah, I did have a little look through. They had a lot of UFC ones and all that in there, but I haven't had any luck with UFC DVDs. Um, there's a swimsuit magazine there, Women's Health. I'm sure someone uh, will take that home and um, use that uh, wisely. But uh, And that calendar, it was an old calendar. Why would you want a fucking 2019 calendar? There's two months fucking left. Why would the fuck would you want that shit? But I guess someone will fucking buy it. I had a little look through the books, there was nothing good there, it was all fucking Twilight, same old shit. Twilight, 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 yeah, great. Not a bad little setup in this place though, so have a little wander down here. Uh, mannequin wearing a dress there, no one wants to buy it. Uh, that's all that crap there, you see all these photo frames, it's the same old shit. Not worth nothing. This old bloke here, he was looking through the kids books, he was... Uh, Getting some new uh, material to have for his next victim uh, when he brings them around the house. But anyway, I had to look through these uh, kids' books and um, he's off. He, he, he knew I was on to him. But, uh, but I had to look through these kids' books. There was nothing there. I found some uh, ones before, but three bucks a DVD. This is an original Ninja Turtles cartoon there, but uh, three bucks for the DVD. Not worth it. Uh, you only get about eight bucks for that. So, unfortunately, no good. But I kept on moving on. I went to the toy section and I seen these baby products. Uh, I'll show you these later and in, uh, in the show and tell. All the stuff that I do end up getting for the next episode. Uh, I'll do another show and tell. But, oh man, all these baby teats and all that. It was fucking awesome how much shit was there. Holy fuck. I just got... Two big bags of baby shit. Thirty-seven dollars I paid. This stuff I looked up, and I can get some good money for this. That's a couple hundred bucks worth of baby shit there. I just paid thirty-seven dollars for. That's something that we're gonna have to go through on another episode, I guess. Maybe today. I don't know. But uh, let's have a look. Got all these boxes of these baby fucking breast pump things. Fucking dummies from a good brand unopened bloody uh breast milk pouch bottles fuck this is all brand new shit man that was a fucking good find now let's go to good sammy's all right good sammy's time this is the new one that just opened up uh, next to the vinnies 
Uh, so I went straight to the, the head of bin there with DVDs and PlayStation 2 games in it. Um, I did rustle through it all, and unfortunately, nothing really was worth any money. Um, some OC and Sex in the City, and oh, fuck that show. Well, does anyone even buy or watch Sex in the City anymore? What a shit show. That ginger girl on the front. Ugh. But, uh, look for the uh, games. There was Mercenaries 2. Unfortunately, that was worth nothing. I looked that up. And, yeah, had a little had a little look through, but no good, no good. Uh, they were going cheap as well, actually, the um, DVDs. They did, well, not the box sets. They wanted four bucks, but uh, the single DVDs, they wanted a dollar, which was pretty good. But there was nothing I could find. I did look through it. Um, oh, why would you buy that book? Look at that book. Uh, so those were 50 cents each, those books. They're just trying to get rid of everything. Dollar for the uh, DVDs. I went and had a look through it. Found that Chip and Dale one, which I'll show you later on. Definitely show you in the next episode and show and tell. I do go back and get it. Um, all kids' shoes. I didn't look through all that. Look, I didn't have time to look through clothes and all that. And this lady was uh, looking for recipe books. She's fucking 60 years old and needs recipe books and never, never learned how to cook in her 60 years. Uh, always had someone doing it for her. Uh, we had all this junk down here. Um, there was this doll. Uh, looked like a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs doll. They only wanted three bucks for it. box was a bit damaged. Unfortunately, it was uh, not good condition at all. There's a big uh, a D. Someone wants the D. Who wants the D? I'm sure some uh, lucky lady will come and grab the D. They all love the D there. So I'm pretty sure that was sell. So I didn't want to grab that because I wanted to leave that for uh, another customer that was um, gagging for it. But uh, I walked down here. There was um, more hidden DVDs that they um, had uh, and PC games that don't sell. Uh, nothing worth my time and effort. Um, there was a few like good bits and pieces in this store actually. Uh, a lot of stuff I didn't really because I'd already spent um, some good money at the other one. I didn't want to spend a l too much, but uh, found this camera. This camera, uh, yeah, it's new camera with the film. Chuck that in my basket. Thank you very much. We'll find out how much that's worth. Uh, those radios were worth fuck all. Um, I did find one interesting thing. Oh, shit, she's going for the D. She's looking at the D. She is thinking about grabbing the D for herself. Now, I found this uh, little sewing kit. It was like this hand sewer. But the box, it looked like it was used. It was three bucks. I wasn't going to take the risk on it. Um, yeah, I just couldn't couldn't be bothered. I probably regret it now. I probably should have looked, looked properly and looked it up. But, um... I was more uh, concerned about uh, that lady getting the D down there because it was it was a pretty big it was a pretty big one. Uh, there was some uh, always get vases. If you have any vases and old glasses for your house, who cares if someone's uh, drank out of them before? Just make sure you held disinfect them before you uh, drink out of it. Um, oh, she didn't take the D. It was too big for her. The D was too big for her. So we go over to the uh, toys and the bags. The toys were pretty crap here, actually. Um, I was not impressed. Uh, no good toys for me to uh, go through and find. Even the board games were a bit average. Uh, books, same shit. Yeah, all the games were all opened. You just don't buy the open games. You never, never know. All the vinyl, that's right. I did go for the vinyl. And funny enough, there was no Kamal in there at all. Not one Kamal. What type of op shop does not have a Kamal record? That's pathetic. And there's another fucking Twilight. There is another Twilight series right there. Do not buy Twilight series if you are a thrifter. You will not make any money on it. Guaranteed. Unless there is some crazy people out there that want to buy it. But I'm not wasting my time. Jigsaw. Why would you buy an open Jigsaw? There's definitely going to be fucking missing pieces. Shit. Unfortunately, no good sports books or good comics and all that, but that's the way it is uh, at some op shops, but this one was uh, pretty good. It was small. Those books were shit, and they wrote in texture on them, like permanent texture. 
on the book, so I didn't even, don't even look through those fucking ones. More plush toys and all that. They were pretty crappy plush toys when I looked through them. Always look through the plush toys. You never know if you're going to find uh, something new with tags. And um, sometimes you can get, uh, buy them for 50 cents and uh, flog them off for 10 bucks. And people buy them. And it's only 50 cents that you're going to waste if it doesn't sell. But I scrounge through these toys and find fuck all. Well, I'm pretty fucking damn excited about uh, those two thrift shops. I wasn't even going to come to these two thrift shops, but they're on the way to the uh, post office. Anyway, the first one you saw, I got a shitload of baby stuff. I paid $38, $37, uh, $38. Uh, that's going to get me back a couple hundred bucks. I'm, I'm telling you, at least 150 bucks, at least 150 bucks. But we'll go through that later on. Uh, the missus can help me with that one, uh, but I did research some of it and some of them were going for 15, 10, 15 dollars each and it worked out that I was paying, you know, yeah, dollar each for it once I got it all, a big lot of it. Uh, but that one there, that one was pretty sweet. Um, I finally got my first calculator. Everyone always uh, sells calculators and I found this uh, Canon, this old 70s Canon calculator. And um, it was $2. Uh, don't know if it works or not. Don't know if it works or not. But um, it might need batteries. But that was $2. Uh, I looked that up. That goes to 30 bucks. So happy with that. Um, this I don't like buying DVDs and selling DVDs. But this DVD I have brought before and sold before for $10. Uh, so this Chip and Dale one I got for a dollar. That will sell for 10 bucks because I've sold it before. And this next one I was pretty fucking... It was pretty fucking uh, sweet, this one, um, which you would have seen on the video. It's a fucking, it's an old school, old school camera with film. Old school camera with film. So, with a little photo album. So, that was three bucks. I haven't even looked up how much that is worth yet. But, an unused, an unused camera. <laughs> unused camera, it looks unused. I'll double check, but it looks unused to me. It's got the fucking instructions there and all that. I have no idea what that will be worth, but uh, it's still got the film there. Yeah, it's unused. It's sealed. It's sealed. That's fucking sweet. That's cool. That's cool. I reckon I'll get 20, 30 bucks for that, but I'll double check and I'll... Uh, fuck off. I'll double check and I'll uh, have a look, but I need a... Uh, I need a fucking victory cigarette. I need a victory cigarette. And, um, and let's go to the next thrift shop. We'll go to the next thrift shop. It's right next to the uh, post office. We'll post this. And then we'll do another one or two. And then that will be it. But I think I found a fucking awesome score anyway. Baby goods. Baby goods. They've sold before for us, so. All right. Salvo's time. This store is usually hit and miss, but I have found some good stuff in the past. Beautiful logo, Salvation Army. And look at that, they're open Thursdays until 7pm now. For all the homeless that are near the beach, they can come in and grab their $1 sweater so they're not too cold from the little wind that's blowing on them. Alright, so, ooh, 50% off red. I didn't notice that when I was fucking in there, but look at all these band-aids. Why would you buy... And they had them at normal price. I see a PlayStation's uh, hidden back there. Uh, but uh, go past all this crap... They always like to sell new stuff there as well. I had a look for the kids' books. Um, unfortunately, nothing good in the kids' book section. If you do look through the kids' books, usually you can find some good old 80s stuff. Have a good look for it. I, I, I look for the kids' uh, books more than I uh, look for the uh, adults' books because you get way more money. You get way more money for vintage, vintage uh, stuff. Uh, this little bag had some cool teddies in it, but... I wanted a little bit too much for it. I just wanted that Scooby-Doo. I wanted that Scooby-Doo teddy. Um, but yeah, the toys here were pretty crap. And uh, look at that. I'm in that fucking mirror there. What a fuckhead. Um, but uh, yeah, these toys were a bit average on end. A lot of baby toys. Uh, I wouldn't recommend a used baby toy. Um, unless it was brand new. Giving it to another kid. And those teddies, plush teddies were alright. But I didn't bother with the plush teddies today. DVDs up there, the kids' DVDs were a bit average. 
That SpongeBob backpack was pretty sweet, but they wanted too much for it. And, um, yes, after I walk around and film, I always go back and uh, have a look at everything properly. I give everything a second run. So they behind the counter, they wanted PlayStation. They had PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 4. Xbox original, they wanted $80 for Xbox original. You fucking crooks. Uh, in this cabinet, they had a whole heap of baseball cards and basketball cards down the bottom there. Mainly baseball cards. Uh, they had no prices on them, so I had no idea, and I had no idea what year they were from. I didn't want to ask to open the uh, thing. But I know nothing about baseball cards, so I did not bother. Just over here on this rack, they had heaps of PlayStation 2 games. Um, Resident Evil and all that. I turned the camera off and uh, had a real close look. They were all barley copies, all pirate copies. Fucking assholes. They shouldn't be allowed to fucking sell them. And they're still trying to flog them off for five bucks each. Pricks. So I look through the uh, DVDs and the PlayStation 2 games here. They had a few PlayStation 2 games, as you see. So uh, what have we got here? We got uh, American Chopper and stuff like that and old cricket games and all that shit. I did look a few of them up. Uh, unfortunately, none of them were worth anything either, especially when they wanted $5 for them. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Um, I forgot to look this up now that I've rewatched this and doing a voiceover. What a fucking dickhead. Um, there was a cricket, best of the cricket uh, DVDs of Australia World Cup. It was five bucks for a three box set or four box set. Don't know what it was worth and I'm not even going to look it up and taunt myself. So I find up here in the books, I find these Warhammer, Warhammer uh, 40,000 books. I wanted 10 bucks each for them. Um, so I put them on this used toilet here. Hopefully it was clean. Not some old uh, incompetent person has uh, left their scent and stain on it. But I put my books that I'm buying on there on it anyway. But um, these are the books that I do end up grabbing, which are pretty sweet. Are pretty sweet. But ten bucks each looked a bit steep. On my my thoughts were a bit steep. I was not impressed with the price for an op shop. But you get that because these assholes look up prices. Alright, don't know what I'm doing with the camera here like a fucking sped, but once I get my hand out of the way, I look, I find some videos. I find some videos. Uh, these videos were not worth anything. It was your good old Disney, and they wanted $2 each for them as well. You freaking crooks. Power Rangers, it was one that I was considering. Uh, they had $5 written on it. Yeah, right. I haven't even sold my other Power Rangers that I brought for 50 cents yet. But that's okay. That's alright. You want to put them up uh, expensive, no one's going to buy them, you're not going to make any money. That's your problem. So, the DVDs were no good. I did find another uh, original Ninja Turtles uh, at this op shop. But, three bucks, three bucks for a disc, I just... When you're only going to get eight bucks for that uh, Ninja Turtles, it's just... Uh, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. So, I move on from uh, this crappy area. And I, um, oh yeah, we have a little look at those CSIs. They wanted too much for them. I did place my uh, books down because I was considering not getting them. And then I changed my mind again because I looked them up and I saw how much they actually were worth. <sighs> it's still way too much. Records, I didn't bother going through the records. <laughs> Here we go for incompetent uh, people. We got uh, we got pee pads or whatever the hell you want to call them. I, they wanted $2 each for them, pack of 12. Uh, pack of 16, pack of 16, sorry. I looked them up. Um, they were only worth uh, 8 bucks each. So buying them for 2 selling them for 8 I'm only making 6 bucks. Not worth my time for those piss pads. So I didn't worry about that. Um, I had a look over here. That smash bag was fucking not worth anything. I did find this little handheld game. Um, it looked broken to me. It was a uh, Sudoku. Um, they usually go alright, but they wanted three bucks for that. And I wasn't buying it because it looked uh, broken to me. Um, I do go back to the piss pads um, just for some fun and pretend I'm pissing on them. Um... So you know, I grab it and I pretend I'm pissing on it there. I was enjoying it. So there's my books that I grabbed. Ten bucks each. And uh, happy days. I spent a lot in this thrift shop.
All right, so I spent probably the most I've ever fucking spent in an op shop in my life. I did not want to fucking spend it. I didn't want to do it, but the return looks good. Ah, I don't know if it was a risk or not, but anyway, I spent $70. Oh, shit. I spent $70 at that uh, op shop on all those uh, Warhammer books. I looked them up, I can get about 30 to 40, maybe 50, 60 for some of them. Um, I should, I hope that post office is still fucking open. Uh, I should get a return on those Warhammer books from spending 70. Should get about, should get 30, 60. I uh, should get about, I'm um, trying to find parking here because fucking retards don't know how to fucking park in this area. Um, should get about, uh, I'm thinking about 180, 200, Jesus Christ, how the hell can I, alright, wall potholes. There's no fucking parking here. Ah, uh, shit. Um, so the lady the lady uh, says when I'm buying them, cheeky fuckers, you know, this is now how I definitely 100% know that they're checking prices. She goes, oh, these just come in, uh, these come in on the, uh, uh, just the other day, uh, and uh, did you know from America it cost them $40 to send in post because they're heavy, and they sell for $30, $40. Fucking bitch. No wonder they put them at $10 each. No wonder they put them at $10 each. Anyway. I'll try and still make some money. That's, that's the game. That's the game. That's why garage sales, garage sales are better. All right, I'm not gonna post this shit. Ah, I love it when dickheads stand in the middle of the road and I fucking can't get past them. I'm just gonna fucking drive into them. Fuck them. Get out of the way. Yeah, finish your conversation later, buddy. You were, you were, yeah, get off the road, dressed. mate. Get off the road. Get off the road. All right, I think that's it for me today. I spent a uh, hundred bucks. Spent a hundred bucks on the op shops. Let's let these uh, people go past. So yeah, I spent uh, 70, 80, 90, 100, 107 dollars. 107 dollars at the op shop today. Hoping, hoping for that 107 dollars to turn into about. 350, let's say 350, but I'm not putting the kitty up. I'm not putting the kitty up. We're going to uh, do another episode and I'll show you exactly everything that I got because I want to show you those baby things and I want to research them a little bit properly and I'll let Kelly have a little look and uh, look through those. But I think I did all right. I think I did all right. It wasn't a dog shit day, it was a fucking fantastic day. I didn't like how much I spent. I like spending uh, as less as I can to get back as much as I can, but sometimes, sometimes you've got to spend a bit, so that's all right. Uh, there was a few other op shops I was going to go to, which was about 15 minute drive, but you know what, I think I've got enough. I think I do have enough. Yeah. I think I've got enough, I think that's enough for today. I've got too much of a death pile. I think it's time to start going through that shit and doing some episodes with the death pile and all that. But uh, this is gave, gave you another little ride along. Um, so that's it, that's it today. Cheers for fucking watching. Um, next episode I'll uh, chuck up um, how much we made and uh, that'll be sweet. And we'll chuck the kitty up. Uh, I still don't like how much I spent, but that's how it is. That's how it is. All right, guys. Cheers for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Or do what the fuck you want. Um, let's get these subscribers up. The subscribers are fucking uh, cranking. I don't know why. You like the content. I appreciate it. That's fantastic. And uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I actually do. I actually do fucking appreciate it. I really do. And... Uh, if you've got a baby and you want uh, to buy some brand new baby shit, I've got some shit on my eBay, so check it out. Alright, cheers guys. Fucking see you!